Boom, boom. How's it going? How's it going? It is I again, your boy, Tauri Jack, coming out to you straight live with another M5 Successful Friend. And you are right. We are live at M5 Successful Friend, but without wasting time. I've got someone from the East. Yes, from the East. And uh, he is one of those people that's been doing good things in the property space. But let me not talk about him whilst he's here. He can tell us his story. Abraham, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, yes, Jack. Uh, thank you very much for inviting me to the, the hot seat. Uh, <laughs> it's not everybody's seat, so I'm glad that uh, today I'm part of this conversation. Uh, as you have said, I'm Abraham uh, Mohatani Mohopo Ilumpopo. Right. Working uh, uh, in Polokwa. Had a nine to five job, but uh, as part of preparing the future, uh, escaping the 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 the, the race, uh, I've 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 started the property. So it means that I'm the property investor, and then uh, I've got uh, I'm I'm married. Uh, I have five five kids. All right. Uh, and then uh, in terms of in terms of my school uh, academic. Uh, I have a degree in the in, in the public admin from UNISA. So, uh, in short, that's my background. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Okay, awesome stuff. Um, where in Limpopo are you from? The township we call it Mohopo. Even the town is Mohopo. The previous right. the previous name was called uh, Nabom Spring. Yes, see, yes. It is in the Waterbeck region. Yes. Okay. It's between Mokopani and and Mudimuli. Right. And 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 you, where do you do most of your property business, Abram? I'm doing now. Because uh, last year I've moved to to Polokwane. Yeah. Uh, I'm doing between Polokwane and 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 Mokopo. So I'm building a portfolio now. My focus in these two towns, uh, Polokwane and and Mokopo. In Mokopo, uh, I've got a third portfolio so that that I've started, and then yeah. in Polokwane I've started a development, uh, which is 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 currently running now. Abraham, people might not know what a divert, what a, a portfolio is. When you're talking about a portfolio, uh, how many properties are they all together when you say you've got a portfolio? Uh, I've, 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 I have a house at, at, at Mokopo, yeah. which, was the, which, which was the main, main house, and I've, I've put that house under, under rental. Yeah. And I've, I've got... Uh, Six studio flat, yeah, and then I've got also twenty rooms, yeah, know, as part of of my portfolio in in Mokopo. Uh, in Polokwane, I'm busy now with the with uh, development. Right, and your development that you are busy doing with in uh, in uh, Polokwane, um, what what kind of a development is it? Uh, uh, I'm building I'm I'm building a house. Which uh, it now it it is on sale it is on the market, right? So I started this 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 development last year during the 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 lockdown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm 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 building a house. It is on property twenty four, and then with a, a certain agent uh, in Polokwane, uh, I think uh, very soon uh, I'll complete the house, and uh, then then I know that I've I've done uh, the first one in Polokwane and go to the second one. So that is development that I'm doing in, in Polokwane. So it's a very exciting uh, project uh, because when I started that development, I didn't have money, but what I did, I refinanced my, my, my house at home and then that refinance, the money was not enough. Then I have to be creative to look for, for partners. Then I approached few people. One, one of them was a, a constructor to say, look, chef, uh, I have something to start, but I, I don't have money for labor and other things. And then uh, this partner buy into my ideas. And then so when we 
we, we were assigned to the service of Bruno to say, Bruno, can you put out a nice structure, uh, a joint frame, a venture that we can, all of us agree to that. And uh, Bruno assist us to put it the structure to say that how we're going to calculate the issue of profit because I'm bringing the, the money, he's bringing the labor, and then the other partners which also are involved, they are bringing other building material. So this was the first huge project that uh, I didn't have um, uh, ideas, but because of my coach, who, who's um, Mr. Leroy, I, I was able to navigate in this whole project, yeah. Okay, and, and Bruno is what? Uh, is Bruno the lawyer that I know? Yes, the famous uh, property lawyer from Jobek. Because okay. last year, you know, all, all, all these property, all these deals, all these deals, they started last year around, around uh, June, July. Right, right. You see, right. all these uh, three portfolio that started last year, I joined a property academy and in which uh, I was doing uh, that uh, 12 model course. Then I was assigned a property coach. Then we yeah. start to package all this uh, portfolio. So I, I will say that having a coach on my on, on my side was very helpful because it's good to have someone who have traveled this road. Then we can just uh, uh, use this experience and information to navigate the whole thing. Abraham, uh, my question to you is that it, you, it it almost sounds like you are new in this property space, but in the same time you have actually done quite a lot for someone who is new. That's number one. And then number two, um, I think the first question that I want to ask you is, you've got a job and within that job, mm -hmm. you're still employed, but then now you're doing property on the side. What have made you to yeah. start to do property? Look, uh, before I moved to Pulukwan, I think six or seven years ago, yeah. I was having a house in one of the township in Waterberg, Mudimul. Right. And then I bought that house for I bought that house for thirty thousand. Oh when thirty thousand. When when, when was that? Twenty eleven, twenty twelve, somewhere okay. there. All right, all right. Yes. And then after a year after a year or eighteen months I got married, then my wife said, No, we need to move out of that township, go to to um, my own township, Mohopo. Then I put yeah. that house for sale. That house will give me 300,000. Oh. But who, that, who? Deal, that deal. He, he who has found then, a wife he has found a good thing. Yes, because, because <laughs> of that, that um, wedding and marriage, starting to build a, a, a family, we have to move and opportunity to open. But I do right. not see that there is a bigger things into a property industry, you see. Mm -hmm. And I took it light. That's so why I started to open these smaller uh, shops. I started Chisanyama. I started Deco to create uh, a Deco and event management. But all of, all of them did not work out. And then uh, right. 2019, that's so why I started following the man they call it uh, Jack Torai. Yeah. I don't know if you know him. Uh, and no, then, I've uh, never met that guy. <laughs> <laughs> No, 2019, I followed Jack Tora on the first book, and there was an invitation for the uh, one day seminar at Midrand, and I joined that uh, seminar uh, for that one day. And there was a lot of presentation you also present, and other people in terms of the stock fair and so on. Then the state of property that was started to be developed, but because of fear, lack of courage, I did not practice what I've learned that workshop until mm. boom, lockdown came. And during the lockdown, I said, what can I do? And I have, I have this sense of property. And so I started, I started to join Property Academy, and I got a coach, and I started to package what I have. Fortunately, I was having a house which was having a good equity. And then mm -hmm. I refinanced the house, and I started the project here. And then uh, around November, November, December, yeah. I, uh, I saw another opportunity in Mokopo where they were selling uh, 20 rooms, and I do not have money, and they were saying to me, they want 700,000, I said, no, uh, I can't afford that, but I'm putting uh, 500,000 on the offer, and then they agreed to that. They say, but because the, because the bank cannot refinance this, 
I will bring the cat. I say, I don't have the cat. But what I'll do, let us sign on an, an OTP, which will say that I give you a deposit of uh, half of that amount and the remaining amount I'll give you after, after, after six months. Yeah. But uh, what is the catch here is that immediately I must take over the, 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 the property. And I, the 1st of November, I took over the rental of the property. Then January, I finished paying off the, uh, uh, that, that property. And now I'm busy transferring that property into my name. Oh, and uh, so I, I almost want to, I, I like your journey. I can see progress. I can see your closing deals, which is good. I can see that you're going out of your skin. We can't even think that this guy comes from a small town in a township with the things that you are doing, being creative, right? And well done on that. Um, but you are saying to me that when you started, there were, you, you went for the courses, but there was fear, yes. right? Um, what, what were you afraid of? What was my? What were you afraid Can of? Can you repeat that question? Afraid to, afraid to, to you say most of, of, of the people were afraid to fail. Yeah. We're not sure that if I start this project, I'm going to fail or I'm going to succeed. And yeah. not realizing that until you started, you will never know what will be the outcome, you see. Uh, I was lacking the courage to start. And mm. then I think also because of the surrounding that I was living with it where there was no a lot of information in terms of property. There was no people who can, who can lead you. Like when we have a coach, when you network with the people who have been uh, before. It was, it was very darkness for me to, to say, let me start. But a uh, little bit by little bit, when the seed started to be in, uh, implanted in my mind, the mind, the mind started to change to see there's a good thing into property. And when I start to remember, the 30,000 house, I said, this thing is doable. You see, if I can sell, if I can buy property for 30 and sell for 30,000, it, it, this is doable. And then it sometimes it doesn't need money. You see, was the last deal that I've closed in, 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 in January. This guy was, was uh, he's selling the house, there were two houses. I said, no man, I don't need the money. Can, I, can we do rent to rent? Yeah. You see. And the guy said, no, I don't understand what is going to rent. I said, no, you rent to me. Now I'm going to find other tenant. You see, you tell me what do you, how much do you want for, uh, for, for a house? And I'll pay for that. And I, I'm going to look for, for the tenant. And the guy, uh, and the guy agreed. We sent a deal. The first of, the first of February, the, full, the, the two houses are full with my tenant, about a, a 10 of them. I'm paying a certain amount, but I'm making money out of nothing. You see. I think I need to come to Makupon. It sounds like there's more deals there. Uh, more hope. <laughs> yeah. But what yeah. I like, I, I, I like, I like about Limpopo or uh, whatever is that there is a lot of opportunity. If you look to Mudimul, Mokopo, Mudimul, Vila Vila, and Tawazim, these are the yeah. small, the small town, and the land is still uh, is still uh, available, but also at a lower price. I mean, if uh, I. I was sharing with, with, with other people what I'm doing. And this, this guy just bought a house for 500,000 and he, uh, for a bond he's paying uh, 4.5. Now he's making more than 10,000. He said, hey, but this is possible. This is, uh, for I say, it's possible. It can happen. And like going to a bigger city where the townhouse are very expensive. The, the retirement on investment is not, is not good. And like when you focus on these town that are still emerging uh, in Lumpur. I see, uh, I know that, you know, my, my, business, my, my, my business model at the moment is focused on the big metros. Um, but I've been doing a lot of work in the background to start seeing uh, which are the emerging cities can I actually start working into. And I understand very much emerging cities or emerging towns. Uh, because I remember when I was working at the banks, um, if you had take something from an, an established place, be it, you know, at the bank, for instance, South Africa is, is seen to be, you know, in the economic hub for, for Africa. So a lot of things do happen here. 
But but yeah. you wouldn't believe it that, for instance, we have we haven't seen checks on the streets for I don't know maybe for the last 10, 15 years, right? Um, but yet, yeah. in some of the African countries, checks are still there. Um, and when you are talking about introducing EFT, people are they still are shocked. You know, it's like what is EFT? Yeah. But that's yeah. the nature of an image in an emerging market. Right, yeah, and you have that benefit because you come to Jobek all the time, you see what is happening yeah. here. So, mentally, you yeah. can take that and you can go to Taba Zimbi, Modemola, whatever the place is, because that city is emerging. You can start bringing what the big cities are doing or have done successfully, and you can now start planting, planting it in the smaller cities, but you start making money. And that's what I like about that strategy. So it's a very good strategy if implemented very well. And already sounds like you're on the, on the right track there. So well done on that. But my next question to you is that you did Chisenyama. You did uh, um, events. Event, man, event management. <laughs> yes. But now... My question I want to ask of you, why property and why not Chisanyama? You know, like for Chisanyama, it's a, it's a good thing. You know, here in Johannesburg, wherever there's a Chisanyama, Friday to Sunday, it's pegged and we think that the guys are making money. But why, why not Chisanyama compared to property? You see, with, 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 with Chisanyama, when I started, I did not have uh, more information lack of uh, business management, understanding the industry of the Chisanyam and so on. Mm. And then uh, one thing that they didn't understand about Chisanyam is that you need to be there. You need to dedicate your time, you see. Right. So when I was opening that Chisanyam, most of the time I was traveling because of the work, family and other things. I leave the people behind to look for, for my business, but only to find out people are not, are not reliable. And then uh, at the end of the day, uh, the whole uh, business collapsed. But uh, mm -hmm. when it comes to, to property, yeah. and then with the little bit information that I'm, I'm gathering every day, the network that I'm building with the people who have been there, and then uh, I've seen that there is a lot of benefit. And then uh, there is a, and also I've learned that the people who are successful, whether are lawyers, doctors, all of them, they're property. Where I'm developing my, my house, every day when I'm in that space, I, because there's a lot of house that has been built, and mm. I ask a lot of questions, who's building this, this, this property? Who's building this sixth one? And I only found that these are the people that are the doctors, that are the lawyers, they just come together and they start building, uh, building that, that property. So, mm -hmm. and when I've seen that happen, and so I realized that I've made the right decision uh, uh, to start the passion, to be to have that passion for, for property and uh, to knock every door where it's possible. But since I started reading the book, starting networking, there's no door that, 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 that uh, I'm, uh, I'm afraid. If I say a door, a, a door, I knock. If they reject me, it's fine. But I'll go to next. Uh, I go to the next door, and I, other doors are opening, others are closing. That's what I love about about property. And what also, since I've started doing this uh, property, I've also also mobilized my family, my kids in the family, my wife. Every day we talk about the property. They're very interested in property. And I've said because of I grown up in a space where there was no information around property. I grow in a space where there's no talking about financial uh, independence, financial freedom. You see, we're told go to school, go and work, get married, that's it. But now I realize, no, I need to mobilize my family to understand that even if we need a basic education, but you, when you need to work hard uh, and more, things are happening outside. Then whatever books that I'm reading, I've read the richest man, richest man Babylon. From there, I say my kids, all of you go and read and come and tell us, what, what are your key, uh, key take in that book? So it's, it's now become uh, part of our life in the family. So that's the reason that uh, I'm very passionate about property now. 
I like I like what you're doing. Um, I think a lot of people there that go into property, uh, the one thing that we miss is actually to know that property can become a family business, and and it is a family business. Um, and the yeah. beauty of it is that when you buy property today, everything might just fizzle away in the next generation, but I think what you are doing, you are setting up your kids, but you're not forcing them to say, look, when I am gone, the day that it comes when Jesus, when I go and see Jesus, it doesn't mean that you have to have property. It doesn't mean that. But you are giving them the opportunity to say, look, you can do this if you want to. And maybe they want to do something else differently, but their foundation in terms of wealth, it will be solid because they're getting it from you as a father. They are seeing it on the ground from you. So you're really imparting something that is um, very, very strong and, and well done on that. I, I, I like to do the same um, and um, yeah, so well, well done on that one. I want to go back to 100%. your deal, Abram. I want to go to your deal, yes. um, the rent to rent one. Um, where is that deal? That deal it is at Mohopong also. Okay. The, the main uh, the main the main street in in, in the town is Tabombeke. So there is a house there. There's a two house. Mm. I have signed three years contract for 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 for, for renting, and then yeah. uh, I subdivide the house nicely so that I can increase the the rent. Then. The first of February uh, this year, it was it was full occupied. Uh, the, the 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 end of this month, I know Chinching is in. Uh, I pay the owner uh, his money. I get yeah. mine. So I was telling other guys that this is is one of the strategies that we can enter a property uh, business without owning anything. Right. Because in that in that deal, I don't put any cent in the table. What I'm doing just to manage the house, ensure that the uh, maintenance is done, and so on. That's it. I like that strategy because it really does speak to a, a couple of people. I think it speaks to, for me, uh, that deal, I think it speaks to, number one, to a person who is tasting property. They're not so sure whether this is for them, you know, and they're not so sure whether they want to do it or they're not so sure right so if you are to do a rent to rent if it doesn't work out then you can you can leave all right uh so you haven't wasted a lot of yeah. money that's that's uh, yes, uh option number one option number two is that yeah. it's for people who potentially might not have money at the time but you can build your kitty now right yeah. so people that have excuses to say i don't have money i don't have money a rent to rent is is there right or maybe your uh, your financial status is not right your credit reports is not right you are not employed or whatever the case is now that you can go in into such a deal what you can actually do now is the money that's now coming from there you can use it to rectify your problems and then thereafter you can grow from there you know and yeah. i like that rent to rent no no how much are you renting this house for? I mean, how big is it? Just give us a picture of what it looks like. Uh, this house, inside the house, is is a, is a, is a, is a four bedroom, mm -hmm. and out and outside the house is a is a one bedroom. Right. So for the whole house, I'm renting, I'm renting in rents, I'm renting uh, three thousand rent. And each room, each room, three thousand uh, rand for a house like that one. Is a three thousand that house, full house. So the whole house you're renting I'm, it for three thousand. Yes. Okay. The the whole house I'm renting for three thousand. All right. A, a and when rent. when I tell, yeah. Yes, I'm saying that when I told uh, my coach to say this opportunity that. That I found it was not easy to get it, so I had to dig, dig, dig enough to to convince the owner and to say, 
uh, because you've been selling this house for a very long time, let me take over this one. Then we'll see after three years, you see, and now you don't have money. Let me give a deposit of, of, of the same amount of the rental that you want. And then every month I'll give you 3,000. And then I, I, then I got a contract, we sent a contract, the deal was on, then I took over. And then you can imagine that if one room is 1.5, then you can make your own calculation and it's two house. Yo, Abraham, you the boss man. Aye, 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 well done, well done. Well done, <laughs> well done. I mean, if you are to no, have... but what the... Yeah, go ahead. And I would say that, uh, so I learned that you can enter this space if you can sharpen your negotiation skills. Because all my, this portfolio from development, even this one, it was about negotiating. In the development, I don't have money. The house, uh, it needs to be complete. It needs two million. I don't have that money. But I brought in the partners with skills, with their labors, with the material to finish the house. Uh, the rent to rent, I don't have money, but I was able to negotiate. The one of 20 rooms, uh, they want 500,000. I don't want, I don't have money, but I have to negotiate the heart and, and, and you see, and, and, and then at the end you win. And if you lose, it's fine, but at least you have to your best. If you lose Abraham, I call it school fees, right? Yeah. If you lose, school fees. it is school fees because you've learned something, you did something, right? Uh, compared yeah. to sitting on the bench and making comments on others uh, without you taking action. Abraham, I, yeah. I'm excited, man, of your journey. I, you have no idea what is in store for you. Um, the, the, the way you're doing things, man, it, it really reminds me of my early days. And you, you, um, you go in places, man. Um, you've got the right tools. You've got the right energy. Uh, you've started yeah. correctly. And, and you're bringing your family alongside with you. Uh, you're finding the right partners. And yeah, you're in a small town where potentially people don't even know what you're doing, yeah. right? A lot of people potentially, they don't know what you're doing. They're just still looking at houses and then they're just seeing houses. But when you see these houses, you're seeing money, you're seeing opportunities and you're saying, yeah. how best can I do that? How best can I do it? And you're sitting on a time bump of richness. That's, that's what I want to say to you, man. Well done. Thank you very much, uh, uh, TJ. I think it's because of uh, learning from, from the best, uh, from other people. Uh, because as we are saying that, it was not easy to move from four tenants to 34 tenants within the space of six months. So uh, even though I'm, I can't say I've arrived, but what is important is that I've left. I'm on the journey. So I will arrive somewhere but I've left. That is important for me. Awesome stuff. Once the brain has been stretched, right? Once the brain has been yeah. stretched, it can go back. There's a book that I'm reading that is called The Brain Idiots, right? And, yeah. and it's a very good book in terms of, it just teaches you on how the brain works, right? And in the, I've just realized that once the brain, once your brain has gone to see something else, and, and it now registers that you can do that. You can't force it yeah. to go back. It's, it's almost like your body, your, 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 your mind is like saying, no, 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 we can't go back there, right? But because obviously, or because of complacent and things like that, you can actually go back over a long period of time. But we are designed not to do that. We are designed to move forward. We are designed to create. Yeah. And that's what you're doing, Abraham. I really like your journey, uh, how you have started it off, and um, already you got good numbers, man, for, for someone who's been doing this for six months. I'm really, really proud of you. Um, and um, you very to, much. Close, to, to close off, I want to ask you something, right? Yes, and yes. this question here is, you have now started testing success, right? 
Because if you are to tell anyone on the street, anyone or some of your friends, right, that you used to hang out with a year ago, that this is what I'm doing. This is where I am. Some of your friends, I'm sure they, they're saying, no, it's not possible. Ne? Yeah, uh, 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 you're right. Uh, some of the friends, as we are saying, they say, wow, what is the pain in here? Because six months, seven months ago, I was just uh, a township boy who's working in Polokwane, uh, who's involved in other, other, other things, but now who's committed to something else, who's patient for, for, for property. So for me, I want to say, for me, uh, success is when you impart knowledge to other people. It's when you live a life to enjoy. And if that, right. that, that means that, that, mean that you have to, uh, in your enjoyment, uh, for me, my enjoyment is when I, I make a deal. So any deal for me, I'm saying I'm, 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 I'm succeeding, you see. And when people call me, uh, people call me and they want advice and I give them advice, uh, and tomorrow they say it has work for me. I'm enjoying that. For 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 example, uh, I met uh, Winston Mudak. I'm sure you you know him very well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Winston uh, Mudak. Uh, he was selling a book, and I said to Winston, "Can I sell your book in Lumpopo?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And I said, we tell you, can I sell your book in, in Limpopo? He said, no right. problem, Abram. Uh, and in Limpopo, I've sold more than 80 books. Going wow. door to door to door. Nice. You see? Nice. And the people, they were saying, wow, wow who is this person? No, I don't know this person. We met in the first book, but I love his ideas. I love his passion for, for properties. I love what he's doing, you see. And recently, I've met at the... At the seminar last year around December, we have a seminar. It's where I start to know who's with him that. So the book, what is doing to other people, uh, you see, and people calling me to say, Evie, what we are sharing with art is impacting positive to us. I believe that that is the best success that, that, that I can enjoy in my life, you see. And maybe what? to say that I've started reading your books after you've given your books. What you have done now? I was, I was saying that uh, I'm starting. To... Yeah, go ahead, Abram. I was saying that I'm also starting starting to enjoy your book. Uh, you give me a book around December, so I'm enjoying, I'm also enjoying this one. Uh, so it's nice stuff. Nice stuff. Awesome. I think what you have done now, um, uh, Abram, is your network you can now literally just, you can have a problem whilst you are sitting either bed in Polokwani or Modemula or wherever, but you now have witness on your phone. You now have me on your phone, yes. right? You have created, Correct. you have intentionally created a relationship with two people that you didn't know eight months ago, right? And those two people had been in the game for much longer. Leroy is also another person. Yes. And, and Leroy is your paid coach, right? So you are accountable yes. to him, yes. right? And with that, yes. your journey is progressing. And with that, you're growing what I call a tools box. You've got a toolbox now. And at any given time, when you see a project, you think... Yes. Ah, Rent to rent can work. You think installment sell, I think it can work. Yeah. And all of that is because you are seeing other people within your community that are doing it. The fear goes away. The knowledge you have, support structure you have. Well done. Thank you very much, uh, Jack. Awesome Thank stuff. Very much. Awesome I stuff. Think, I think, I think, I think, I think, as, as, as I was saying, relationship is very much important in property. It's currency, it's a value. You see, how you surround you with your people, your surrounding, it, it, it matters most why you're going tomorrow. You see, it's why I've learned that surround with the people 
we share the same mind, the same vision, uh, the same goals. That is important. Awesome stuff. Abraham, it's been great having a chat with you. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Abraham. And I told you so, M5 Successful Friend. He is out and about, right? But doing deals and making a difference in his life, in his kids' life, in his community, impacting the country whilst sharing the knowledge that he's got. I have no doubt that Abraham's journey, if he continues on this pace, this guy here, this guy here is going to be amazing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's been great hanging hang around with you. We'll check you on the next video. Cheers, Abraham. You can sign out. Uh, Jack, thank you very much. Uh, your seat was very hot. I, I've, I've enjoyed it. And I've yeah. enjoyed uh, sharing the knowledge with you. Uh, we pray to God that must protect your family, your business as you grow up because we are looking up to you. Uh, while we are following your footsteps. Uh, thank you for, for bringing land to us and God bless you, my brother. Thanks, Abraham. Stay well. Bye-bye. Cheers, cheers.